In this video, I'll be going over a full roadmap for a penetration tester. I'll be going over exactly what a pen tester is, what a pen test is, what skills you're going to need if you want to become a penetration tester. I'll be going over the salary of a penetration tester, how you can become a penetration tester step by step and stay to the end of the video and I'll be going over day in the life of a penetration tester. If you don't know who I am, I'm Nicole and this channel is all about helping you get a job in cybersecurity and IT. I actually do work in the field and my LinkedIn is below, so go check me out. I'll get straight into the video. What exactly is a penetration tester? It's one of the most popular jobs in cybersecurity. A pen tester is someone who tries to find vulnerabilities in systems, networks, data by utilizing various methodologies and tools in order to find these vulnerabilities. Essentially, they are hired on as hackers. They can also help resolve security weaknesses. A lot of what they do actually simulates what you would see in a cyber attack as if it was an actual hacker. You can't do this without permission of the company. Usually the company will hire a pen tester or have an internal pen tester to do these security assessments and try to find vulnerable parts in the system. So do not do this without permission. A pen tester are known by a variety of different types of names. Ethical hacker is another one, pen tester. I've also seen it labeled as cybersecurity analyst slash security assessment testing. Always make sure to look at the job duties when you're looking at these jobs because it's a wild, wild west with these cybersecurity job titles. These pen testers are really needed. Oftentimes a company doesn't know they have vulnerabilities or in hiring someone to actively check for these vulnerabilities can find weaknesses in their system and then they can secure their systems better. Oftentimes pen tests are just for compliance reasonings. They will hire a third party to do these assessments and to show that they did their due diligence. Some skills that you need to become a junior pen tester is you're going to need a really good knowledge on um, IT and infrastructure in general. So what is a network? What is a router? What is a switch? What is hardware? What is computer systems? First, make sure you know your IT and infrastructure fundamentals. And then on top of that, you're going to need to know OWASP top 10, which are the 10 top vulnerabilities found in web applications. You're going to need to know about vulnerability assessment scans, whether that be for websites, web applications, wireless assessments, external, internal. So you're really going to need to know about that. You're going to need to know how to present these findings to executive leadership in a way that they can understand. Also, a lot of it is doing paperwork and documenting what you're finding and showing what you are doing. There's a lot of legal issues when becoming a pen tester, if you don't get permission and you do something, you could possibly go to jail. You're gonna need to know a good basis of vulnerability scoring, such as CVSS. It's debated whether or not you need programming, honestly, it just depends on the role. Uh, but some really good pen testing tools that you should look into is Kali Linux, and that comes with a full suite of different pen testing tools. Burp Suite, it's Learning how to read a PCAP on Wireshark would be really good. I do have a project below that walks you through step by step on how to do that. Kane and Able is a really good program to learn and also getting familiar with Kali Linux because a lot of these tool sets are loaded on Linux. So installing all of that and then practicing with it. These tool sets aren't going to be used in all cybersecurity careers, but for pen testing, you will probably need to know it. But if you want to become a SOC analyst, you may not need to learn how to use like Nmap just yet. Maybe when you move on from the SOC analyst, you'll be able to. And where can you work as a pen tester? Well, pen testers, the culture of a pen tester is that they're definitely not going to an office. Most pen testing jobs that I saw are remote. And that is because Companies would rather hire really good pen testers that are remote than just have ones that will come into the office because they're close by. This is definitely a topic in cybersecurity, but most of the time pen testers do not go to the office. If that's something that you're interested in, getting a entry-level remote job as a junior penetration tester, it might be something to look at. 
What is the salary of a pen tester? The salary honestly depends on a lot of different things, but according to talent.com, an entry level pen testing job will pay about $97,000 and the more experience you get, you can make up to $156,000. I've definitely have met people who made way more than $156,000 as a pen tester. The better you get, the more money you can make doing this. I'm sure there are some pen testers making less than $97,000 Always remember to negotiate your salary as there's always a range that they're trying to get you at and they will search you at the bottom. Make sure to do your research. The best negotiating tip that I have ever found was when they ask you what your salary requirements are, never say, I want this amount. Say the market value of my skills places me about $130,000. It's really hard to argue with that. The highest paid states for a pen tester are Wisconsin, Alabama, Massachusetts, Virginia, New York. I don't know how accurate that is, but according to talent.com, this is their data from about 780 different jobs. Some states will pay you more because there are, is less talent there, so there's less competitions for these jobs. That definitely could be a possibility on why they get paid so much more. And if we look at these various job titles and postings that I found, you can make 135,000 to 160 at some jobs. And this was just with two to three years of experience. This one is 85 to $150,000, 125 to 135. And remember, it's about skills, not about how long that you've been in a role. So how exactly do you become a penetration tester or ethical hacker or whatever name you want to call it? Well, the first step is you're going to need a good basis of networking, if you have never worked in IT, maybe get yourself a help desk job for about six months and then switch to penetration testing because it'll make everything so easy because it gives you more context. I do have a link to the Google IT support certificate. If you're totally new, I would start there because it does do a really good job of teaching you the foundations of IT and IT security. And so it's just e extremely easy easily digestible content that's very engaging, especially if you get distracted easily. The second step would be to learn cybersecurity basics. The best way to do this I found is the CompTIA Security Plus. Getting this certificate also would be very good for you and it does teach you really well and a lot of jobs really like it. To become a penetration tester, so once you learn the basics of IT, you have a good basis of what exactly IT security is. After that, you're going to want to learn pen testing skills. And there are many different ways to do this. The most structured way is to get a pen testing certificate. And some really good pen testing certificates are the OSCP. This is HR approved and it's not the easiest one to do. So I suggest starting with the EJPT and then moving up to the OSCP. Another really good one is the PNPT by TCM Academy or the Cyber Mentor. I was looking into becoming a pen tester. I would go through TCM Academy and then go through his course and then get certified. And that would give me a good basis of what exactly a pen tester is. I decided against the pen testing route because I don't really like it, but some people might. The GAIAC penetration tester certificate is also well known. It is very expensive. I think around $7,500 for that training. If you have that kind of money, then go ahead. But I would say the PNPT, OSCP, EJPT are also very good ones to start with. And then maybe once you have a job, you can get your employer to pay for that GAIAC certificate. You do not need a college degree to become a pen tester. A really good way to gain experience as a pen tester without a job is to do bug bounties. Look for active projects that you can do such as the PNPT, which walks you through different labs on different things you can do. I'm not sponsored. I just think it's a good course. So what does a day-to-day -day pen tester's life look like? You're probably going to be working 40 hours a week, most likely depending on where you are. And you're gonna be preparing, conducting, and reporting tests. You're gonna be conducting tactical assessments that require expertise in social engineering, application security, physical methods into breaking into things, such as lock picking, which is kind of cool, lateral movements, threat analysis, internal and external network, and trying to break into those, which 
basically you have the mindset of a hacker documenting what exactly you're doing and this might be about 50 percent of your job is documenting everything that you find all of the vulnerabilities you find what exactly you did to break into the network and you have to take really good notes because you will forget you're going to have to present this documentation to executive leadership or managers and so you really need to have good presentation and people skills along with technical skills you're going to be seeking to break break in and find weaknesses. You may be research on various technologies that you may be trying to get past the gate without the proper credentials. You may be analyzing different vulnerabilities and how they can be hacked into for that specific job. But remember, half of this job is documentation. If you have any questions, please comment, like, and subscribe. I have plenty of other videos about cybersecurity and cybersecurity roadmaps and whatnot. So check those out and I will see you in the next video. And also, if you would like to start today and you have no idea about IT, a really good place to start would be the Google IT support certificate. The link is below in the description. This is just extremely digestible content that Google put together for IT support, which gives you a good basis of IT in general. It might even prepare you for an IT support job. So if you need a job in tech, it might be the quickest route might be just getting a help desk job, which this certificate will prepare you for. So check that below and I will see you next time. Bye.